I do a lot of pro bono work, as a lot of attorneys at Kilpatrick do, um, but in recent years, my work has gravitated towards asylum and Im immigration cases. This case came along, it was a little unusual in that a nonprofit from another state, I believe from California, reached out to me directly and asked if we had attorneys available to help with a very compelling and urgent asylum case in the Atlanta Immigration Court. The client was a high-profile activist. He'd been detained once before by the government and tortured, didn't stop doing his advocacy, and had to flee the country because the government was after him again. He came over, uh, he was detained at the airport. He actually had in his possession a hand-signed letter from President Obama. He thought that you know the United States would have kind of taken him freely. Um, you find clients often in situations where they have no resources at all. They have no one to lean on for help, and they're really, they don't know where else to go for help. I immediately reached out to Gain because the individual was housed at the Atlanta City Detention Center. He kept hearing from the inmates that the Atlanta Immigration Court is not where you want to be. Who knows if he, if he would have been returned. And had he been returned, he almost certainly would have been detained, tortured, and even killed. It can be a very frustrating process. Um, the, you know, some of the judges there are less sympathetic than others to these cases. Just on the papers alone, the judge said, what are we doing here? What I'm seeing is, you know, this gentleman absolutely you know, needs to be protected from his government. The judge granted asylum uh, in open court. The client was just overjoyed. He immediately hugged me and kissed me. You know, he could not have been more grateful. It's amazing how Gain has set up this program through which someone like me who has no experience in immigration law can come in, get a client, get the resources I need, and really help someone um, that's in a very bad spot. I will say that Joe uh, had really did an incredible job in this particular case, and a lot of the times I felt like I was supervising him as he was going almost daily down to the jail to meet with this client and talk to him about the case. Um, but both of us are, are very honored and, and deeply uh, appreciative to receive the award. Receiving this award has been very humbling. Um, it's an honor. I, you know, I have a great amount of respect for GAIN, and I'm excited to kind of keep doing this kind of work moving forward.